Welcome back to the channel to another video. Today we're going to do a bit of a guide, a beginner's guide on Reddit True Tide. Just the basic questions that I constantly get asked, you know, how to mix it, how much water to mix it with, what type of water to mix it with, how long till it kicks in till you start seeing results, how much weight loss to expect, how to retain muscle on it, how to get rid of some of the effects, some of the negative annoying effects that it gives you, what happens when you stop taking it. I'm just going to cover everything in this video just so you guys can have all these basic questions answered. As I said, I always get asked. And if you've got any questions, if I've missed anything or whatever it is, just throw a comment um, in the comment section and I'm happy to answer. And hopefully, you know, some other people can jump on board and answer themselves. Like in one of the last videos, I think nearly 300 comments or something. So it was really good and everyone sort of threw their two cents in, which was really helpful. So yeah, let's um, let's get into the mixing. I'll, I'll get into the mixing side of things now. Essentially, okay, that is the vial. That's the peptide that you're gonna be researching. Either use your sodium chloride 0.9%, but preferably use bacteriostatic water. Now, a lot of people use this because the bacteriostatic water is hard to find. Chemist Warehouse here in Melbourne, Australia don't sell it. Um, so you'd have to order it online, okay? so. Preferably bacteriostatic water, but if not, I guess, I guess the saline is okay. Always swab with an alcohol swab before you start. So take the, take the cap off. Okay. You peel the cap off. You swab. Okay. Swab, swab, swab. Now you want to use a bigger um, plunger thing and needle uh, for taking the water out and putting it into the peptide. Because if you sit there doing it with the insulin little syringe that you're going to be using, you're going to sit there mucking around for a lot of time. So how, how much water to put in the vial? I'll put a link like a peptide calculator sort of link in my description. So be sure to use that if you are still unsure. But this is a 10 mg vial. So if you were to put one mil of water into the 10 mg vial, every 0.1 mil Okay, every 0.1 mil, every 10 units is going to be 1 mg, okay? If you are to put 2 mil of water and mix 2 mil of water into your 10 mg vial, every 0.2 mil, every 20 units is going to be 1 mg. So the more water you put, the more you dilute the peptide, okay? Once you put the water, in you'll see that there is still a few little clumps of powder do not shake it okay just swirl it around like that or you can roll it on the table back and forth a few times okay and then keep it in the fridge once you've mixed it and that's practically it be sure to use the calculator in the description the peptide calculator if you are still confused about dosing and mixing now that we've covered all, all the mixing stuff the first question that you're going to ask or anyone really asks is how much of this to take and when so there's no real specific time when like of the day to take it morning midday night it doesn't really matter but obviously the amount that you take will matter so the more that you take the stronger the effects you are going to get uh, and if you overshoot like if you take too much there is a strong chance that you're going to get a lot of negative effects like you might get diarrhea you might get acid reflux you might try and eat something and throw it back up like the effects that it gives you will be amplified um, obviously the more that you take so now I'm not a doctor, medical practitioner, anything along those lines. This is just what I would recommend to someone that is unsure, okay? At the end of the day, you know, you gotta do this and research it at your own risk. Um, this is what I would do if I was to start again. So yeah, start with 0.5 mg, see how you respond. Uh, you might not feel anything from it. You might feel something from it. See how you go. You might get a, a reaction to it. Who knows? I've heard of stories of people getting reactions to it. You'd hate to like take a bolus amount, like a decent amount, and, and have some sort of negative reaction to it, you know? Start with 0 0.5. See how you go. Give it a day or two and go, go from there. If you didn't really feel anything, if, if you seem to respond okay to it, then what I, I would do is do another 0.5 mg 
uh, or you know maybe a 1 mg dose and that should be enough to get you going to start feeling the suppressing appetite suppressing effects and a few other things so two ways you can do it you can you can take it weekly in the clinical trials that they did they gave the study participants a weekly dose obviously different doses for different groups but you can do it two ways you can do it a one decent dose every week uh, or you can split it up into two doses maybe i'd do like a monday and a thursday that way the concentration of it sort of stays a bit more level in in your blood serum because it does have a half-life of five or six days off the top of my head. So, you know, towards the end of the week, uh, you'll start to get your appetite back. You'll start eating a bit more and you'll definitely feel it wear off. So if you don't really want it to wear off and you, you want that like a level amount of appetite suppressing and, and all the other effects, I would do it um, Monday and Thursday, for example, twice a week. So I'd split it up into two weekly doses. The way I did it uh, was I, I, I did do um, twice a week, but I also then towards the end went back to weekly because I wanted to be able to get a decent amount of food down, which then also helped me with my energy and a few other things because it's got a really strong appetite suppressing effect. And if you're not eating enough and you're training heaps and you're working and you're doing all these things, you're gonna you're gonna lose a lot of energy output and you're gonna start feeling a bit flat so you you want to try and be eating as well whilst you're on it because if you're not uh, as i said you're gonna start feeling like shit. so that's the dosing side of things how long till it kicks in um if you take it enough for your body to respond to it you will feel it instantly within a day or two so if it's a monday you take it on a monday by Tuesday, Wednesday, you will definitely notice it. You'll notice that you are less hungry, you're able to stomach less food, not really thinking too much about food because you're full. Um, you, you're gonna start noticing everything within a couple of days, okay? So that's how soon you should start noticing this. I got a lot of people commenting and reaching out saying that, you know, they didn't start feeling anything for a couple of weeks. One person said something like four weeks. No, dude, you should feel this within a day or two, like you should definitely start feeling. If you're not feeling anything for a few weeks, I don't think you are actually taking red or I, I, I don't know what it is that you're taking, but you have, you definitely should be feeling it within a couple of days. How much weight loss to expect is another frequently asked question. That all depends honestly on how fat you are already, like your, your, what your body composition, your starting body composition is like. The heavier, like the fatter you are, the more body fat you have on you, the faster you are going to lose weight. And um, this is what I have experienced. This is with a lot of clients, what I have noticed. It's even without without the Reddit True Tide, this is what generally happens. So again, it's all relevant to your starting body composition and the dosing as well. The more you take, the stronger the effects are going to be. Therefore, the more you should expect to lose now another question i get asked is like oh i took so much that i haven't eaten in a day like some people won't eat for like 24 48 hours is this bad um i don't know really if it's a bad or a good thing i wouldn't suggest doing that too often there's a lot of people that swear by fasting going for a few days with fasting and it like really helps your body you know flush bad cells out and all these things so i don't know i mean if you did it like here or there and you didn't eat for a few days and you stayed very well hydrated i don't know how bad that is for your health but i really wouldn't suggest taking so much to the point where you're constantly like only stomaching something every few days i don't think that's healthy i don't think that's good and especially if you are trying to retain muscle that's probably the worst thing you could do to retain lean mass. What week one to four feel like? I, I, for the first week or two, I experienced, you know, like feeling a bit weak in the legs, sort of like a low blood sugar level. Energy was really fluctuating. Uh, and I think this was just everything rebalancing, recalibrating due to the medication. But I know a lot of people who hadn't experienced any of those things 
um, and they just feel fine or like moving forward the whole time. But it just, again, I think it just really depends on how you respond to things. I personally, the first few weeks felt a bit yuck and a bit weak. But then I, I did realize, you know, after a couple of weeks that sort of went away and things did stabilize for me. And, and um, yeah, it was okay after a couple of weeks. Does it hurt? <laughs> a lot of people are really worried about it hurting. You are using such a small little pin, such a small needle. This is the size of the needle. You can't even see it, like it's so tiny. Um, every single time that someone freaks out about it and they take it and they'll message me or they'll say, oh, is that all? Like, you know what I mean? So no, it, it, it sh really shouldn't hurt. Nine out of 10 times, you, you won't even feel it um, going in. So no, to answer your question, it shouldn't really hurt, okay? Another question, how much muscle will I lose or will I keep whilst running Rita True Tide? This is a tricky one because when I ran it for six weeks, I barely lost any muscle. And there were like days where I was eating maybe five, 600, maybe a thousand calories. That is like 1500 calories deficit. And if I was to like do that without the Rita True Tide and cut so aggressively at the body fat percentage that I was sitting at, I would have looked like anorexic by the end of it, um, but I didn't. So I personally retained, I'd say like all of my lean muscle mass during my six week experiment with it. But I, I do, I do believe, I do really believe that if you are taking enough to the point where you're not eating like anywhere near enough every day and you're not training and you're not stimulating your muscles to grow. I do still think that even though Reddit True Tide has the third pathway, that glucagon activating pathway, I do still think that you are gonna lose some lean muscle mass. So it's all sort of relevant, I think, to what you are doing whilst taking the medication. But just to touch on it, nothing really happens when you stop. You just sort of go back to normal. Your appetite comes back, your negative effects, Maybe if you get a bit of nausea or if your sleep quality declines, everything does eventually go back to normal. Uh, a few things though, I, I noticed for myself, again, I have made a video on all of this and I went into depth with it, but a few things I did notice, I didn't put fat back on very easily. I felt like my body was more efficient at breaking down and using the food that I was eating. So I just genuinely think that it sort of gave me like a metabolic reset, like it, it, it set the bar a bit higher for my metabolism and the way that my body responds and, and does what it does with food. So yeah, that was a really positive effect. Yeah, I think when you stop taking Reditrutide, you definitely keep some positive effects from it. So yeah, that's pretty much everything. If there's anything else, any other questions that you have, please throw a comment down below. Like the video if you like the video. And if you want to see more of these videos, subscribe and stay tuned. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.